I wanted to give you a bit of an introduction to the course and I can't think of a better way to do it rather than to go ahead and put this in presentation mode and do a full screen recording of accessing the course and the course materials. So if you go to blackboard.hillcollege.edu you'll get this login page and you should log in with the credentials that you already have. Uh, you should come to a page that looks something like this, although probably a little different because you are not an instructor, but very similar. So you find our course. We are spring 2016, second eight week. We click on this link here, and now you will see a... Um, homepage. Let me put it in the view. This is student view. So this is what it should look like for you minus the orange bar at the top that tells me that I'm in student preview mode. Um, when you come to this homepage, every time you log in this will be the home page. So you may have had other courses online where you have that dashboard and it gives you alerts and things like that. I personally don't like that page because it can be confusing and uh, it doesn't look like a course when you come to that page. So what I've done is decided to set this uh, home page up in just a basic, simple, three major links here at the bottom to three modules for the course. Everything you do in this class is going to be found inside these module folders. So the first module covers chapter one through chapter seven and we have um, three discussions we have two primary source readings that those discussion two of those discussions will be based on and then an exam covering chapter chapters one through seven right so then module two same thing chapters eight through thirteen we have two primary source readings two discussions based on the readings and an exam and then module three covers chapter fourteen through chapter eighteen two pri three primary source readings three discussions based on the readings and then your final exam which just covers chapters fourteen through twenty um, over here in this column where it says major assignments this will tell you what major assignments are going to be due. Um, thesis statement for the paper that you write in this class will be due, you know, here um, by the end of the module. You're going to go to a fine arts visit or museum visit or, you know, under the heading of fine arts, we also have performing arts. You could go see a dance performance or orchestra performance or something. Uh, you'll need to tell me that day by, you know, this time, you know, the, where you're going to go by this point. And then you'll have an annotated bibliography, which is part of the paper. And then the human values paper. And, and based on one of these pieces of literature that you'll read, and I'll explain all this in a second, don't worry. Uh, you'll also have uh, that paper due along with the fine arts paper. So <clears throat> a little bit, of, some more of the logistics here. Um, so when you come to this home page, right, if you have decided that you're going to do the ebook, but you don't have to, uh, if you want to use the paper book in this class, you are more than welcome to. I don't mind. Um, we're not going to use the uh, online assignments for Revel, but you can use the access codes you gain in order to just view the ebook um, to do your readings. Um, you will need some form of book, whether it be the ebook or the hard copy. Um, it's up to you. So let's say you're going to do the ebook. You click on this, it takes you to this new screen. Now, when you get to this screen, you're going to have an opportunity to sign in with a Pearson account, create a Pearson account. Um, but whatever you do from this page, it will associate you with, with our course. And I don't know why that popped up, but I'm going to close it. So, um, yeah, that's really it. And then you follow the process. So either you have a registration code as you go through the sign-in process over here. 
and you'll have a registration code that you'll enter or um, I believe you can just use your debit card and pay for a registration access through signing up right here. You don't have to go to the bookstore. You don't have to do anything other than just go sign in, um, create a Pearson account, pay for it with your debit card, and then you got access to a text for the class. So I'm actually going to uh, go back to this tab. Um, so that's here at the top. And so that's the book we use in this class. It's uh, The Humanities, Culture, Continuity, and Change, Volume 1. Um, the author of that book is uh, an individual by the name Sayer, S-A-Y-R-E. So this is me over here in the top right corner, and that is my name, my email address, and my cell phone number. If you decide that you want to text me or something, that's cool. And you can call that number if you need to talk, but you'll have to leave a message because my phone rings all the time. If I don't know the number, I don't pick it up and unless I'm expecting a call, uh, you have to leave a message. But texting, uh, you'll get the quickest response, but you'll get just as quick of a response from your uh, emailing me from your Hill College email to my Hill College email at jweatherford at hillcollege.edu. So um, let me show you a little bit about what's going on over here on the left. Okay. So here, um, before we get to the syllabus and everything, I want to talk more about these course modules because everything you're going to do is going to be found in the links over here, the course modules on the left. Now, I've broken it down a little bit for you, um, but essentially this link here, the ones that say Module 1, Chapter 1 through 7, Module 2, Chapter 8 through so on, those big major ones, not the bullet pointed ones, are going to essentially take you to the same place that clicking on these links here on the home page will take you. I will show you. So if I click module one, I'm going to come to a page that has um, week one, two, and three broken down. So let's say I want to go back here um, and I want to just go there by clicking on the home page. And apparently I clicked the apps button and not the correct button. Um, so that would take you back to this page. So if I decided I want to click on here, module one, it's the same as module one over here, it'll take you to that same screen, right? Chapter one through three, and week one, chapter two, chapter, uh, anyway, uh, week two and week three. So you'll have links. So, um, so let me show you. So if I click on chapter sorry, module two here, it's going to take me to this screen that has week four and five. Um, module three, week six, seven, and eight. Okay, so let's go back to module one, and then I'll show you what happens when I click on the week. So our first week of class is Monday 321 through Sunday 327. So I click on this link, and then everything that I need, that you'll need to do for the week is going to be in this folder. So first and foremost, you have a syllabus, policies, and an academic honesty agreement. This is just a little quick test to get, um, well, two things accomplished. One, evidence that you actually have attended the class. And, you know, since we don't take role or attendance, your attendance is based on logging in and doing assignments. So... In order for me to know that you actually showed up to the class, you need to log in and complete some assignments. And I don't know why it did that, but it must be some sort of update. Sorry. Okay. Um, let's go back to presentation mode. Actually, I think we're already there. Um, so you would just uh, complete your answers. You understand this, true or false. You understand the syllabus, right? And so... If you do um, inadvertently or intentionally commit any sort of plagiarism or dishonesty and you cheat or you get information somewhere and you don't give credit where you got it, I'm going to say, hey, remember the syllabus policies agreement? Yeah. So just be careful that you don't, you know, you get a warning at first, but if you keep it up, we there there could potentially be some uh, some administrative action, some zeros involved. You don't want to do that. So um, just be careful not to, to cheat or use somebody else's information and say it's your own and not give them credit. So that would have been right here in um, 
the first folder. It's going to say don't leave, but I'm going to leave anyway. Um, so we cancel this. Okay, so this first folder here, and if you ever leave a test, like it's going to, to do the same thing to you it did to me, because I want you to finish a test in one sitting, so it'll, it'll cause you some stress to try to quit it early, and it'll like um, try to keep you from doing it, and you'll get that yellow warning at the top. Anyway, so first week, week one, syllabus policies, academic honesty agreement, that's what we just looked at, and then you got this discussion board assignment. Um, you're going to go on to YouTube, you're going to Google, or sorry, you're going to search the term, what's, why study the humanities? Um, and you're going to do a little introduction of yourself, and you're going to follow these directions. You have to respond to at least two others in the class to get full credit. Okay, so uh, one thing that's going to be missing from this folder right now, um, which will be there by the time you see this will be a lecture um, covering chapters one two and three there will be an audio lecture here um, if you need um, any sort of accommodations like a, a transcript or something I'll do my best to get that to you but it'll just be audio so you have to listen to it um, but if you need uh, the transcript don't worry just let me know and I'll get it to you um, the um, the lecture will be in here, so you, you watch the lecture, lecture, you'll listen to the lecture, rather, and you'll read chapters 1, 2, and 3 in this first week, and then you will um, respond to the quiz uh, here, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3, which are primarily based on the readings in your book and the lecture. So, then we get to the next week, you click here, there'll be um, a lecture here at the top but it's not going to be there right now but it's because I haven't I haven't done it yet but it will be there by the time you you see this so you'll watch the lecture you'll read chapters 4 5 and 6 during this week um, you'll take the the quiz the quizzes are 10 questions long um, if you pay attention to the lectures you might find some quiz answers in there as well um, just letting you know and then uh, this will be the first primary source reading that we do. And so this is actually Epictetus um, Discourses. Epictetus is a uh, Stoic uh, philosopher, and we're going to look at some things he had to say about, um, you know, ethics, really, about what is it, you know, living the good life. Um, how to keep one's emotions in check. And um, so you'll end up reading this. And if you don't have, um, it might prompt you to open a Blackboard account, or sorry, a Dropbox account. And then, but you don't actually have to. You can um, go ahead and open the file and download it. So I'm going to scroll down to show you where this begins. Discourses, um, and this is all about uh, the things which are in our power and not in our power. Um, kind of like what do we have control over. So this is a, a, a primary text. And the difference between a primary text and a secondary text, for example, your textbook, except in the, well, yeah, it's a, it's a secondary source. It's not primary. It's talking about other sources, other original works, and so unless it's quoting, you're giving you an excerpt from an original work, um, which it does, uh, as a whole, though, that is a secondary source, because the guy Sayer is the, uh, is the not, not Epictetus, but he may say things about Epictetus, which makes him a secondary source on Epictetus, but in this class, we're going to go straight to the, to the mouth of the horse, so to speak, and we're going to read these primary texts looking for one thing. Uh, what kind of human values can one find in these primary texts? So I'm going to close this, actually, and I'm going to go back here. So after you do your reading your primary source reading, you'll come over here and you'll do a dis the second discussion in the course. 
um, which is all about the human values found in Epictetus. All right, so you'll read through this where it talks about the 10 universal human values. Now, this explanation and this breakdown isn't going to be on every link to every discussion. Um, it's only on this first one, so you need to make note of what that says because see here in week three, you've got discussion three, human values in the Bhagavad Gita, but you don't have an explanation, so you need to refer constantly back to that explanation for discussion two. Um, but that explanation is also going to be here in your human values essay link over here on the left. Because the, the, the point of doing each of these primary readings and then discussion looking for human values is because you're going to select one of these um, texts that we discuss in the class any one of them you are free to choose um, and you can then you will then write a paper in this class um, based on that so really it would be kind of like what we discuss in the discussions and you're going to expand upon that if that's the topic you choose and you're going to refer to your primary text you know whether it be Epictetus or the Bhagavad Gita or um, let's see we have um, some we have some selection from the Quran. We have Thomas Aquinas. Um, we've got some Savonarola, Martin Luther, Saint John of the Cross. We've got some good selections of texts to choose from here, and you will basically be the expert on this, and you will write a paper uh, where you look at maybe one human value from this list up here that you find in the the reading um, maybe one value finding it in three or four different places in the text or it could be three different human values from three different places in the text and uh, the human values are straightforward self-direction stimulation hedonism Achievement, power, security, conformity, tradition, benevolence, and universalism. I didn't make these up. These are actually the ten universal human values according to a theorist. So um, you'll have three parts to this paper. Uh, thesis submission, which is going to be 5% of the grade in the class. Um, annotated bibliography which will consist of at least three scholarly sources from the database. I will send you a link on how to access those. Um, the final paper itself, which is 10% of the 20% in the class, so the whole essay itself is worth 20% of your grade in the class, 10% of that 20% will be the paper itself, and you will follow MLA. So. Um, and I give some examples on how to formulate a thesis that you will expand upon. Whenever it comes time to submit any part of this assignment, you'll click here, and this will open a new page, and then you'll click on the Browse My Computer, and hopefully you have a, a version of Microsoft Office or Word. If you don't, you can... You can use uh, OpenOffice.org has a free word processing program that is just like Microsoft Word that allows you to save in Word format. Okay, then you can upload your portion of the assignment by clicking Browse My Computer. It'll bring you to this page, and if you click on, let's see, Eight Week Humanities or find your source, you know, paper you want to upload. Click Open. And make sure you, you click submit down here at the bottom right or top right of your screen and it will submit it and you will do that for each portion of this assignment the thesis the bibliography and the final paper itself um, so let's go back here um, let me tell you about the fine arts assignment while we're at it this is a, a simple a simple visit, right? I'm not looking for a whole lot from you on this. 
I just want you to go somewhere you've never been before, preferably, and observe the event, the exhibit. Um, so you could go to, I've given you some suggestions here, anything at a performing arts center on a college campus. So in the DFW area, you've got tons of colleges, TCU, Tarrant County has a bunch of different you know, campuses, Dallas County Community College, Hill College has multiple campuses, we've got Texas Wesleyan in Fort Worth, Tarleton has a bunch of different campuses around the area, Texas A&M, uh, UT, University of Texas, um, Arlington, Dallas, you've got the University of Dallas, which is a Catholic institution, heck, we're halfway to Waco, kind of, some of us, so, you know, go on down to... <coughs> pardon me, to Baylor, and you'll make a selection telling me where you're going to go by midterm, and then you'll have a 150-word summary where you will say where you went, and then do 150 words about what you learned, liked, didn't like, would recommend, so on and so forth. Half of this grade is submitting some form of evidence that you were there, like a ticket stub, or a program. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's really simple. And that'll be due at the end of the course as well. <coughs> Pardon me. One thing I do want to make mention of is this last week in the class. It's a short week, so don't think you have until... Sunday night of the week, uh, you actually, we have from the 9th, which is Monday, to the 12th, so 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, by Thursday, you need to have finished everything that was due that week. Um, and while I'm at, on that note, everything is due, except for that last week, at the end of the night, Sunday night, 11.59, that's the, that's, that's the cutoff date for the week. Um, as long as you have everything done by Sunday night um, at 11.59, you're good to go. I wouldn't suggest waiting until Sunday to get started. Um, this class is an accelerated format. We do a lot of material, cover a lot of material in a short amount of time. And so um, I've actually slimmed down the amount of content, um, believe it or not. Um, if you see the size of your textbook, there's just, you're covering a lot, and I feel like we're actually leaving a lot out, unfortunately, but I'd rather you master some some core concepts rather than just kind of gloss over a lot of things. Um, and then your syllabus, of course, always accessible here on the left side of the screen. Um, let's see if it opens. I'm actually using my iPhone as a hotspot right now, and it's not the fastest internet ever. Okay, so this is your syllabus. has basically everything that I've told you. Um, in case I missed the introduction to the class, I mean, this is a standalone course that is a survey of cultures focusing on the philosophical and aesthetic factors in human values with an emphasis on the historical development of the individual and society and the need to create. Um, and then I give you more of a specific introduction here where uh, I'll read it to you. Humanities is the study of human culture, emphasizing how cultural values develop and are communicated through the arts. Because the art of written language is an intrinsic part of the human culture, this class will look closely at key primary texts from the human experience. This will include fiction, nonfiction, poetry, as well as sacred texts from the world's religious traditions. As we read these primary texts, we will be reading through a particular lens, one that analyzes the text for human values. We will read this, read with the question in mind, what values are represented in these texts? Culture is defined as the shared patterns of behaviors and interactions that are learned through a process of socialization. These shared patterns identify the members of a culture group while also distinguishing those of another group. 
Cultural values contribute to our views of right and wrong, good and evil, and what inspires us to achieve. So we're going to be looking at cultural values and specific cultures, but we're also looking for an overlap of human values, you know, that, you know, don't, are not bound by cultural lines. Um, as I said, the book in the class is uh, Henry M. Sayer, The Humanities, Volume 1. You are free to use just the E, uh, the third edition access card with Revel, uh, but you could do the paper book as well. And then I've listed the secondary readings here where they're found. I have a link to all those. Don't worry about those. They will all have links here on Blackboard, um, learning outcomes, uh, kind of give you a breakdown of, of some of the core objectives, things you'll do and why and what it's intended to teach you, and then I have a breakdown of the four uh, of the sections in the class. There's five, actually. We have reading quizzes. There are 20. I do drop the lowest two. There are 10 quest questions. Um, they're worth 10 points each. There's three attempts on each quiz. If you don't do well in the first one, you are free to uh, try again, uh, but you only get to do that three times. Um, we have eight discussions. I'll drop the lowest one. Um, exams, we're going to have three. Each exam is 70 questions, open book, open notes, untimed, unlimited attempts. Uh, you can stop and come back if you need to. Uh, just get them done by the end, by well, yeah, by the end of the week that they're they're due. Actually, I, I'm not as much of a stickler on that. Uh, on, as far as the exams, you just need to make sure you have them done by the end of the class. Um, so, um, final paper, the human values in the primary texts, um, that's 20% of your grade. And that'll break down into um, thesis statement, bibliography, and the paper itself which is five to six pages. Uh, I know you think that's a lot, but it's really not. Um, fine arts visit response is only 300 words long, um, basically. Uh, you just write your summary of where you went, your reaction to it, and then upload the uh, portion, the uh, stub that will show you were there. Um, Actually, I think my math is wrong here. I'm going to have to fix this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Um, there's 20% 20, 20 of your grade is the fine arts response paper, and I'll fix that. So I think I already fixed it, but I didn't upload it, so that's my apology. Um, but anyway, so here's the basically the same thing you, you see on the home page. You see here in this in the syllabus as well. Um, breaking down what we do. This is what you're supposed to read. This is what you're supposed to complete in this week. Then this is what you read, right? This is what you complete all by that in that week. And then any major assignments you have are going to be over here in the far right column. And then exams here I've written in green. So I've kind of color coordinated it to what I have up here in the description. Hopefully that is helpful to you, but if you only have a black and white printer, well, it's not going to be very helpful if you print it. Probably just come out gray. But here we have human values in primary text explanation. This is the same thing you find when you click on the link over here. So I try to put this information in multiple places. It's in your syllabus. It has its own link over here on the left. Um, scroll down and you'll see a breakdown of those human values that I was telling you about. Um, an explanation of how ways to understand them, learning outcome, what's hope to hopefully will achieve by reading this. And then at the very end, you will have an explanation of your fine arts assignment. And that's the same thing you'll find over here under this link on the left under major assignments. And if you're ever like, I just want to go straight to a reading quiz, you can click that link on the left. And then you'll have all your reading quizzes in one place. If you're ever like, I want to just take my exam, you can click on this link that says exam. Um, right now I haven't, I think I just didn't make it available, but we're missing a test there. But it'll all be there. Don't worry. 
Um, but right now I have a lot of this visible, but I think actually what I'm going to do is um, I'm only going to let you see module one that covers this first three weeks of class, and then the rest I'm going to have closed. Um, so you can always work ahead as far as you want, but as long as you stay within the module, I want us to stay focused instead of, you know, because what will happen in an online class is if a student can work ahead, they'll go ahead and they'll do all of one thing, like the discussions or something, and then they won't come back and respond to two other students, and then they don't understand why I give them a 60, and then they're like, hey, why did I get a 60? And I say, well, you didn't respond to two other students. They're like, well, no one had posted whenever I posted. And I said, that's why you should wait till we're all doing it together, and it's more like an in-class sort of thing rather than you just posting, you know, eight threads. So I'll get off of my rant now. Forgive me. And then if you want to do the discussions, discussions you could always come here, and then they'll be laid out. Um, the only one that has the breakdown of the human values is the one for Epictetus, right? But then the rest are just links. Okay, so I can't think of anything else to do to say here, and so I... If you ever want to get back to that home page, just click home, and you'll see this page. And this is this, click this image here to register for your ebook. Um, and also, once you've registered, I believe you can always click there and go to the ebook. And then, yeah, that's it. So if you need anything from me, please do not hesitate to reach out. Uh, there are no stupid questions unless they're not asked. Um, I will gladly respond to you, and typically I will respond immediately unless I just simply have not seen your message. So if you text me and I see it, I'll respond immediately. Uh, I check my emails about as regularly as I check my texts, so... Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Oh yeah, I guess another important thing you'd want to know is like how to see your grades. Um, you click on My Grades, and this will take you to your grade book. All right. And if um, if it says upcoming, right? Or sometimes you'll take if you if it's something that I have to grade, um, it won't show a grade until I actually grade it. And if you ever see like a blue thing that says in progress, it's because you, you bailed out of a test without finishing it. So if you see that next to any of yours, go back and finish it. Because if you don't, I have to go in there and click submit for you. And then uh, I have to, it's just, it just takes time. I'd rather you make sure you click submit and everything. If you need to email me, you can click this email button here. You can click uh, all users. You can send the class an email. You could uh, you could click this and just send one to me directly. You can also just email me from your regular email. Um, if there's any announcements like the one I sent you, you'll see them here, um, where I said you can access everything, but you can't. Don't do any work. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. So this is your home page button. If you ever want to get back here, you can click here to get into the modules where it has a week, the weekly breakdown, but you can also get there by clicking the week itself over here on the left. Okay, well, I think that's it. So um, I look forward to uh, working with you and seeing um, your thoughts and, uh, you know, studies as we progress through this crazy world of humanities. Uh, don't don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions, and I will see you online.